In the 1980s there were uh, many old school analog uh, television tubes and they often used this transistor in their high voltage circuits. Uh, and then I mean in Europe. Uh, they often started with B, U and then a certain type number. TFK by the way is a very old brand that no longer exists even for perhaps 20 or 25 years anyway. This, this is a more or less modern high, uh, high voltage transistor BUW12AF. And when you measure a high voltage transistor with a classical standard transistor tester, you will often find uh, almost no amplification. And that has all to do with the typical properties of the high voltage uh, transistors. They were made for high voltages and that's the uh, voltage uh, where they have to be tested in a certain way. So here quite a bunch of them salvage them through the years and uh, sometimes I use them uh, especially for high voltage generators. You see for instance a very old Russian high voltage transistor. As far as I know, I have to say that, I'm not very well acquainted with such a high voltage or with these high voltage uh, Russian transistors, but I salvaged it from an, as far as I know, a Russian TV set in the 1980s and here pure German high voltage transistors as far as I know correct me if I'm wrong and here's another one beautiful old high voltage transistors bipolar transistors of course and nowadays we have uh, MOSFETs and uh, other kinds of FETs uh, that can handle a lot of voltage, etc. But uh, these um, high voltage transistors still work very properly. When you, for instance, want to make a high voltage generator, and that circuit is here. I have used for this high voltage uh, generator working on approximately 16 kilohertz this circuit and I've used these types of transistors and it worked very very properly a very easy circuit to make and for that high voltage transformer you need a kind of classical old school analog high voltage transformer that was made for say 16 kilohertz and that was often the standard line frequency as far as I know in old school analog television sets and I've made this circuit for a homebrew oscilloscope and it worked properly and the 470 microfarad capacitor is necessary to damp all that 16 kilohertz out so that it does not travel on the power supply lead and I even had an, uh, a problem uh, where I had to use on this location in the circuit a power resistor of 30 ohms uh, 5 or 10 watt. That formed a RC filter that could filter out very properly 
all the high frequencies and I found for instance when I did not use this filter that the 16 kilohertz modulated. Uh, other oscilloscope circuits. So that was uh, a good lesson for me. I had to find it out and of course uh, when you want to use it use typical high voltage diodes here to get that high voltage out to your oscilloscope tube. And after that you can filter it out because it's on 16 kilohertz. You can filter the uh, ripple easily out with say a 100 nanofarad capacitor. But of course such a capacitor has to withstand the high voltage. So when it's 1200 volts you need here for instance a, a one, uh, sorry, a 0 0.1 microfarad cap that can handle 1200 volts and when you cannot get easily to such a high voltage capacitor you can um, connect a few of them in series. And of course you have to uh, calculate it when you switch three uh, 100 nanofarad caps in series and each is 400 volts the total capacitance is only one third of that value. So go to the radio theory and you will surely get a good answer. And in such a circuit it's very important on such a high voltage circuit for an oscilloscope very important uh, that you over diminish the capacitors here. So when it says 1200 volts take 2000 volts here. So make a series of capacitors to uh, damp out the 16 kilohertz frequency and of course in that case here is the right place for the high voltage diode. High voltage diode and capacitor that can handle the high voltage. Of course when you go to say 800 volts it's less critical, 1000 volts is less critical but when you go to say 3000 volts it gets a kind of critical circuit. Anyway, this works, it was tested, etc, etc. By the way, in my book, Schematics 1 Revised. There is that circuit and many other circuits. My first idea was to make a high frequency, sorry, a high voltage generator with MOSFETs. I have to figure that completely out. I'm absolutely not sure that it will work uh, as a first try, but perhaps uh, it will work. And when it works, I surely will publish that on YouTube. Uh, be aware of the fact that the circuit that I've showed only gives a few milliampères. That's enough for an oscilloscope tube. Um, but it has in fact not much power. It's not a power circuit. It's a very uh, simple circuit that gives a low power out. Say 1 watt, 2 watt or um, 3 watt and that are the values.